In this video, I wanted to share the story about the time my friend and I went kayaking. I've rarely ever been swimming in open water, and it's something I've wanted to do because it feels so free. So whenever I get the chance, I jump on it. The lake we were on was about 5 miles long, 2 miles wide, and 95 feet deep. When we reached the middle, I persuaded my friend to jump in, and she tried talking me into doing the same. I was quite hesitant at first because I didn't have much confidence in my ability to climb back into the kayak. Eventually, I jumped in too. We swam around, took some pictures, and of course when we decided to get back in, we both struggled a bit. She managed to get back into her boat much easier when I held steady, and when I finally got into my boat, I was laying on my stomach. When I tried to flip over, I started letting water in, so I immediately jumped back out to prevent it from filling. I didn't want to attempt getting back in at the risk of sinking the kayak. So we started heading towards shore. At this point, we were actually closer to the opposite side than what we had launched from. The plan was to have my friend tow my boat with hers, and all we needed was a rope. Luckily, I had brought a bag of clothes along, and we were able to use a pair of my pants to tie the boats together. It certainly wasn't a perfect solution, but it was the best that we had. After about ten minutes of swimming slash paddling towards shore, we looked back and realized my kayak had disconnected from the other one and was just floating in the middle of the lake. You want me to get it? No, I got it. I'm not going anywhere, am I? Nope. I feel it's important to mention that my friend was a lifeguard for a couple years. It started getting difficult lugging my boat around, so we decided to try and tip it out. While still in the middle of the lake. It didn't go well, but it could have gone worse. After about 30 minutes of swimming towards shore, we felt the seaweed at our feet, and a couple minutes later we arrived on land. I tipped my boat out, got back in, and the next step was getting back to the car. So, we head across the lake again. This was the easy part, though, and finally, we made it and had a great story to tell. Thanks for watching! If you want to see more stories like this, please leave a comment down below. And subscribe if you're not already. I don't know what else to say.